Monday. Happy day eight, week two, 75 hard. I'm feeling so jazzed and so pumped. Y'all know, y'all know, we've got the gym juice flowing in our veins, guys, and I still have that buy one, get one 50% deal going on with Equip, so look down below, anything on site, get the pre-workout, get the protein powder up in your life right now. Feeling so jazzed, so pumped, guys. The community, keto community, the whole health community, doesn't even have to be keto, is just so freaking bomb right now with inspiring and motivating each other and lifting each other up and that's what we need in 2021 in this society in our times right now is just lifting people up no matter what no jealousy no comparison just showing each other that you're a caring human being and that you care about one another and you want to see everybody freaking thrive yes indeed today is back day last week go watch last week's vlog we learned a lot in week one a lot and i'm hoping that this is a, a better week with some aspects because there were some down times and there are going to be down times in your life in general right that's when we have to show up that's when we have to adjust and roll with the punches with all the things that life throws with us it's going to happen i feel so amazing today Last week, like I said, lots of revelations, learn lots, and I think this is going to be an amazing physical and most importantly, mental transformation at the end of these 75 days. So I hope you were doing amazing on Monday or whenever you're watching today. I hope you had a killer week one, back on plan, whatever that may be, if you're cutting, doing 75 hard, and let's go take out all this adrenaline and glycogen from yesterday's carb up on this back. back day and let me tell you that session went by so fast I can't say the same about last week last week I'm telling you if you haven't watched that vlog yet go watch it it was a struggle week week one getting adjusted but I think now we are in the groove in the routine and I think this is gonna be a fire week and I'm so here for it and back day was on point y'all it was so good I'm gonna feel the burn tomorrow but what I want to come and talk to you guys real quick about is setting an example so I am doing all this I get the question all the time why are you still doing it? This is for me, this is what I wanna do. I wanna gain muscle, I wanna keep doing this. I wanna be the healthiest version of myself. This never just ends and stops because when you end and stop it, it's gonna be like what I did when I lost the 85 pounds and thought, oh, I can maintain this and all those old thoughts and old ways get back into your mind, back into the daily habits and you put on 20, 25 pounds again. That's exactly what happened to me because I stopped. I said, oh, I'm done. My health journey's over. It's never over, guys. This is a lifestyle. You're gonna do this till the day that you you die I keep saying that maintaining is harder than losing weight and it so is you just got to keep doing it each and every day to be the healthiest version of you and setting an example is what I want to do for my keto coach clients I want to do that for the community keto community a health community and for my kids and I want to mention that Waylon has been picking up your kids pick up on things when you don't realize it guys so make sure you watch your mouth and set a good example because he picks up on everything that little turd and let me tell you he he has been talking about health lately he's just and not even me sparking the conversation he's like mom bananas are healthy right I'm like yeah bananas are healthy but he's like well I want to eat healthy foods and I want to be strong and big like you mom <laughs> so we uh, take showers together I know that may seem unconventional to some people but we take showers together right now when they're small and he always talks about how mom you've got big muscles and this and that so he picks up on those things and I've caught him flexing in the mirror before here recently and also playing his YouTube kids like little songs, little child songs. And he's over there like working out and getting it. And he's embarrassed that like if I catch him, he's like, what mom, what, what, what? And I'm like, what are you doing? He's like working out. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. So uh, setting a good example for your kids, I'm not pushing anything like that on my five-year-old, of course, but he picks up on what I'm doing at home and what I'm talking about. and those things are going to ripple downward and that's a good thing like I want him to know that bananas and apples are healthy and that when he goes to pick a snack maybe he's picking a better choice now he's five so look he went to McDonald's yesterday and I said well is McDonald's healthy and he was like ha 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 <laughs> so he's still living his best life as a five-year-old okay don't get scared out there and I'm not ever gonna push that on my five-year-old because I don't want any like food things to happen at a young age because look I grew up with it my whole life I know 
I'm gonna let him make his own decisions, but I'm gonna set a good example, okay? So examples, set a good example, eat the right foods, eat clean ingredients, and just talk about things in general, and it's gonna reflect down with your whole family. Your whole family's gonna pick up on it and see the results that you're doing too. So guys, set a good example today, keep killing it, we got this, and uh, I got a lot to do today. It's gonna be a crazy busy day. It's been raining all day, it's freaking cold, and we still got an outside workout to do. What is our life? 1230, I've been done with my water since 1130, but I've been running errands like crazy. We just got done filming a huge Sam's Club haul with all the other grocery stores too. This is just the Sam's stuff that you guys should have already seen. So definitely go and check it out because it was like a crazy stock up haul. But the girl's exhausted. Like why doesn't Sam's Club hauls count as a workout? That should have been like my outdoor workout because it's freezing as all hell. And I've been unloading, loading, unloading, unloading groceries. You know how the struggle is real. Now we gotta eat, it's 1230. We gotta get some protein in our body because we got all kinds of things to do. I don't know how I'm gonna get it done but we're gonna get it done. We're gonna show up. We're gonna do the damn thing, right? We don't have any BITC voice in our voice in our head from Andy Frisella. We get ish done. Let's do it. Brunch time. I know this looks crazy, but you know all that spinach is gonna be like this much when we get done. Same thing with the mushroom, so it looks like a ton, but we're making a fisherman's egg, so I'm getting my veg finished and ready. The super blend is on the bottom that you can't see, mushrooms, and then the spinach. I featured this in last week's vlog. It's like Mondays are for fisherman's eggs. I'm gonna add some sardines, some eggs to the top, some goat cheese, it's gonna be creamy and delicious. Full of protein, what I need to power me through and get all things done. Veggies done, we're gonna throw on these Brunswick sardine fillets, these are my favorite, get them at Walmart. Crack our three eggs and then put some delicious creamy goat cheese on. 425 for up to 15 minutes. Watch them until you like them. Real quick ketone check because today starts the five day ketosis challenge over on the Fast Coach app. So I wanted to participate, even though I knew I was going to come in, but I'm happy with a point four, y'all. This is the day after the biggest carb up day I ever had. Check out that video. I'm upping the cards carbs because of 75 hard, just a little bit on the cyclical keto days and still coming in at a 0.4, a 0.5 and above is nutritional ketosis if you are new to keto and the monitors. So I will take that all day, every day. I'm feeling like fire is all hell. We got our big old brunch to do over there. Coffee, let me talk about it real quick. It's the same as last week and it probably will be all week. So I'm gonna say it once. It is a brewed cake cup from the night before, chilled in the fridge. One scoop of the prime protein. This is the vanilla by Equip. Remember, buy one, get one 50% going on right now. Stock up and a crap ton of cinnamon. Blend it in the Ninja. Pour over ice. Done. Protein coffee. Delicious. First meal of the day going down. Got that avocado on there too. Don't knock it till you try it, y'all. It is good. Yes, yes, and more yes. We aren't hangry. We are full. Try it. If y'all did not watch last week's video, yes, I am still taking all all my daily supplements every single day while doing Mediterranean Keto Cut 75 hard. I take a full serving of the beef liver and the joint support, one of these at night as well, plus magnesium. 1.30, some things got a little bit rearranged in my schedule, so I have a little bit of free time before we have to do our outside workouts. So I'm gonna use that time to get these pages in so I got some peace and quiet and I'm not rushing. It is time for what I've been dreading all day. It's like the coldest day ever here, like no job, no lie. Got my hat on, got my ski jacket on. This thing has been a savior off Amazon. I'll link it down below guys. I got a sweatshirt and then my little crop top, tank top thing on underneath still. And I'm gonna go freeze my booty off. Let's get the second workout in. We were able to be productive and we got a video already edited and saving, like who is she? Let's go. It started to be a chaotic morning, but it, everything's fallen into place. Yes, indeed. Day eight, let's get it. In the corner of the room, not ready to resume, cause I Got back home just in time, about 10 minutes before Trey got off the bus. He's over there eating his dinner. And y'all, I ran. I ran today. I know, I might be glutton for punishment, but I ran for like two minutes, if that. And boy, the girl is out of shape with the running game already. It's just so quick how you could get out of shape with the running game when you stop for a month. It's crazy. But y'all know my foot has been injured since November, right before Thanksgiving. I think I have a stress fracture. I never went to the doctor officially. I know I should have, probably still need to. But it's been feeling great, especially since walking last week. I told my hubby, I was like, man, my foot has literally, literally like no pain since I started doing all this walking, which is crazy to me. So I'm testing things out, running like 
like two to five minutes with the walks at the end just to get a little bit of stamina back and see how the foot takes it before I do and attempt any type of long running. But I do miss it. Y'all been asking if I miss the running game. And yes, I never would think I would say that ever in my freaking 37 years but I miss the running game. But we got our 45 minutes in, we did three miles. I am feeling snacky. Let's get some protein, let's get a snack. It's gonna be on repeat probably all week long, just like last week. So snack on repeat is usually a tuna pouch and some yogurt with some berries, chia seeds, and hemp hearts, which is what we have over here. But this is new, this is the new Primal. They are the same as Chomps pretty much as far as the ingredients and macros, but it's a new company. And I wanted to get more, but they were totally wiped because they're on sale at Whole Foods. This is the turkey beef stick or turkey stick. And what I like is that there's seven grams of protein in each one and only like 60 calories and like one gram of fat. So they're super high protein, low in fat is what I want. Sometimes I am doing Mediterranean keto, which means high fat, but guys, I'd rather have high protein over my fat at this point in my journey. So I've got two of those. So that's 14 grams of protein, hellacious amount of the Faye yogurt, 5%. So that's got a ton of protein in it. And I'm trying finally, guys, the new watermelon lime relight electrolytes. I already tried it and this might be the best flavor they have of the electrolytes. It's my favorite, which is the lime with a hint of like the fruity watermelon and it is on point. It's like a Jolly Rancher. I'm not even exaggerating, guys. So flipping good. Always have in Burgess down below. We'll get you a discount or you can do the bundle, which has the other flavors in it and my favorite spices of all time over here. Afternoon electrolytes protein update fire product alert so the new primal lightly peppered turkey sticks are freaking bomb let's go i love the chomps jalapeno beef wins or whatever they are but i can't have the beef throughout the week i'm trying to do chicken or turkey and y'all know i love the epic sriracha chicken wins but i'm waiting for them to go on sale you know the girl's a cheapo and we got to get these things when they're on sale because if not they break in the bank these are on sale right now until the 19th man why did everybody have to clean them out? Because it's so damn good. Y'all let me know if you've tried them yet. And y'all, this is my new favorite. Number one flavor. Let's go watermelon lime for the win. Get this stuff. You need the electrolytes in your life. And that one, my friends, is awesome. Tonight's dinner, making it super easy. If you watched last week's What's for Dinner, then I showcased how I made this cauliflower Mediterranean style mash. So I've got a bag. I'm gonna steam up in the microwave, feta cheese, chicken broth, Redmond's Real Salt, Herbs de Provence from Trader Joe's, and the Italian Sofrito from Trader Joe's. Get this in your life. Okay, one of you guys told me this was not seasonal and that it's just like on back order and they're getting it back in February. Hills to the yes, Trader Joe's. I'm gonna make a trip and I'm getting like 100 because that stuff makes everything taste bomb. And then for our main meal, our main course, are the Florentine spinach muffin, turkey muffin, meatloaf cups, whatever they're called, mm -hmm. out of the Wholesome Yum cookbook. I'll have this link down below. You see all the tabs that are a Mediterranean approved in it and just keto in general approved. Really awesome simple ingredients and delicious. Everything I've tried has been spot on. Her website is underrated in her Pinterest as well, guys. I absolutely love Maya's stuff. She is awesome. Check her out. These I made in vlogs past. Y'all seen if you watch every week and I froze these and this is enough for me and the hubby tonight. So they freeze beautifully. They thaw beautifully and they're going to taste amazing and make my life super easy with a side salad. Let's go Monday. Let's go week 275 hard. Also to this, I knew I was missing something. I'm like, oh, we missing something. I put some ghee in there. So you can do ghee on Mediterranean in moderation. Same thing with heavy cream. You just can't have it like breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack 24 seven. And then some minced garlic. Now we're going to put it in the microwave, let everything melt, and then hit it with the immersion blender. Such an easy but delicious dinner with the side salad there with the Greek dressing. Always have that link down below that recipe. And there is the Mediterranean cauli mash with the three turkey Florentine muffins on top. Gonna be so good. Highly recommend those. Those are bomb in that cookbook. Oh so good. Get on those turkey muffins and this Mediterranean cauli mash is better than regular keto cauli mash that we've made before in my opinion. Coffee tonight. I'm doing the Crazy Cups Peppermint Chocolate Mocha. I just got this variety pack from Amazon. I get it all the time. I get different ones. Love it. And they only have one of this one and I have a little bit of peppermint nut pods left I put in my Morocco. So that is the decaf we're choosing tonight. Living my best life with the rest that's there and then I love this Omega Power Creamer this is the peppermint mocha as well as you can see I don't have that much left I'm gonna put a little bit of there 
with the Perfect Keto Chocolate Collagen because I'm making sure at night I'm getting my collagen in since I'm doing the protein coffee in the morning. This helps with hair, skin, and nails, guys. I highly, highly recommend Perfect Keto's Collagen. As you can see, I have all the flavors over here and absolutely love the taste and most importantly, the results. We killing it, killing it on day eight, Monday. So I finished my water at about 7.45. So I finished my gallon of water and I followed the Mediterranean diet and no cheats today for day eight of 75 hard. First and second workout done as you guys saw. So we are done, completed day eight for Monday on to day nine. Happy day nine, 75 hard. Keeping it real. Woke up, man, my bed felt so good, so warm, cause it's been so freezing down here. And I was tired, even though I got a good night's sleep, really good night's sleep, really needed it. But guys, I'm just like you guys. I wake up in the morning and I don't wanna show up and I don't wanna do the damn thing. But we did, you know, we, ha we got to do it. And this pre-workout definitely helps, I'm telling you guys. I take this right after I drop off the boys because it's about 25 minutes before I get to the gym. It kicks in, tingly sensation from the BCAAs, Megan Thee Stallion body roaring in this minivan bumping. I look like a crazy person, but I don't care. We got to get that jack for leg day today. I think leg day is my least favorite day now. I even like core day better, who is she? But we gotta get in there and we gotta get this leg day done. I'm doing a new circuit, so I'm kinda nervous about it. The one I've been doing has been killer, but I always say to switch things up with workouts, with foods, everything, and that's what the girl's doing today. So I feel jacked and hyped right now, so I can just imagine what we're gonna feel like after the workout. Let's get it. <laughs> from leg day. I died. I'm dead. I have the jelly legs. I have been popping up the workouts. I should have anyway. A lot of y'all were like, can you link them down below in the description box? I tweak them. I find them off Pinterest and I kind of like play around with them and tweak them myself. So if you follow me on Instagram, you see them and I have a highlight reel for them, but a lot of you don't have Instagram. So I'm going to start popping them up so you guys can screenshot them. So take a screenshot, pause the video so you have the workout circuit. Oh my lordy, my legs are absolutely dead. My quads and my my glutes are on fire, like legit, but such a good burn, but I will be uh, cursing tomorrow and Thursday because that's when you really feel it is about two days after leg day is when it sits in and you can't pee and you can't squat on the toilet. Struggle is real. We had a fire session. I am so in a good mind space for week two and i'm just feeling great and looking forward to the rest of this week i mean the community is on fire i've seen a couple of you guys fall off and have to start to day one if you're doing 75 hard but you are just like in such great spirits and just getting right back on that train and that horse and it's the same con same concept with keto so or whatever health journey you're on it doesn't have to be 75 hard if you fall off plan or if you do something unintentional and you didn't mean to, don't let that derail you. Don't let that set you back for weeks and months and then you never get back on the horse. Just the next meal, the next snack, make it whatever your lifestyle is and just keep going and no regrets and don't dwell in the decisions, the, maybe the bad decisions that you've made. See, a lot of people like wallow in their sorrows about the decisions that they make as far as it being a bad choice and we're human after all. We're gonna make bad decisions sometimes. We learn from those bad decisions. We grow, we move on, move forward and get stronger from them, right? So don't beat yourself up about it. Just keep on trucking. Let's go Tuesday day nine, right? I'm, I'm gonna be losing track of these days. Just got home from the gym. This is what's going down for breakfast. I'm gonna go ahead and eat early. That way I have a good space between this and my 45 minute second workout. So I'm doing Frenchy eggs, which is egg whites. This is like 240 grams, y'all. That's like 30 grams of protein. It's crazy, but zero fat which I love, and I love this Primal Palette Apple Pie Spice, so I'm gonna put this in the pan, sprinkle this on top, and put the lid on, just let it hang out 
fold each side over, sprinkle more of this, and then I'm gonna drizzle some of this Nutso Keto Nut Butter, it is so fire, and then put all the berries on top with some chia seeds, hemp hearts, and we're probably gonna do three of these Applegate No Sugar Chicken and Herb. Remember, get the one that is highlighted, no sugar. All the other ones by Applegate have dextrose in them, even though it's a good brand. And then we might even throw in, throw in a granola bar. Let's go. Protein coffee on repeat, one of my granola bars, which is in my eat cookbook, guys. We've got three of those chicken sausages. We just had a berry roll off on its own. And there are the Frenchie eggs. Don't skip out on this. So good, full of protein, the fats from the nut butter, and then the good, good berries that you want in your diet. Ooh, I feel better. I'm not gonna lie, like I mentioned earlier this morning, my energy was low. I feel great after doing my workout, but I still feel a little tired, but I was starving, like legit stomach growling. And y'all know we're listening to that body. We gotta make sure we're fueling it, eat to grow with what I'm doing in my health journey right now. Crushed it. If you have not tried Frenchie eggs, highly, highly recommend y'all. So good. A lot of people put sugar-free syrup on theirs too, but y'all know I'm not doing that right now. And I wouldn't do it even if I wasn't doing the keto cut. And I haven't, if y'all seen in the prior um, videos that I've made this and over on Instagram, I like it just as is. You don't need any, that nut butter is all you need for like a, a syrup. It is so good. Watching my keto twin, Jen, and with Jen here on YouTube, check her out. She's documenting her 75 hard journey as well, and she's already done it once. She's a freaking beast, so go check her out. Love her to pieces. I am done with my first half gallon of my water, and it is 11.43. Who is she? I'm here for it. I've got clothes put away. I'm about to do all the mom things, the, the wifey things. We're getting things done. So it's a little after 1.30. I am kidding. Killing this water. I only have about half of my second half gallon left. Let's go. I'm going to go ahead and read my book. I usually get out the door about two o'clock to go do my 45 minute outdoor workout. It's nice and sunny today. I'm looking forward to doing my walk, but I'm going to get my 10 pages in, get this knocked off the list. We've been editing a video. I'm actually waiting for an imperfect foods order to get here at last minute, number one, to film and upload tomorrow for you guys. And number two, because I need the freaking protein out of it for dinner. What is my life? And it's probably be frozen. It's gonna be a hot mess. Struggle's real, but we're not struggling right now. We're thriving on water and on reading our books and getting all the things done. Seven minutes to two pages, donezo. Y'all, victory moment. So y'all saw, I ran, I'm out of breath. I just walked in the door. I ran the last 12 miles of my walk and I feel absolutely fire. My foot did not hurt yesterday with the little three minute run and I pushed myself today, maybe I shouldn't, we'll see tomorrow, because the next day always tells me with the foot if I pushed it too much, but man, it felt good to get back, but I am a sweaty, hot mess. I had to take my jacket off midway when I passed the house, I hung it up on the mailbox, and I'm like sweating like a beast out there, even though it's 40 degrees, but I just feel so amazing. Guys, you can do it, all right? It doesn't matter what you're trying to accomplish on your health journey. If you just wanna start walking and you've been couch ridden and Netflix ridden and you wanna walk, do a little bit here every day. Those little triumphs add up to big victories along the way and make you feel so damn good and proud of yourself. Let's go! Nothing's holding this girl back. We are doing the damn thing. We are showing up. We're following through. I've got an imperfect foods order over here. I need all the film for you guys. I told you it was a crunch time. And Trey's gonna get off the bus in 20 minutes. I got to go. Post run victory snack. We're gonna protein it up, y'all. So I've got a scoop of the prime protein by Equip the strawberry, 20 grams of protein in that about 11 and a half ounces of the unsweetened almond milk, just a handful of the triple berry blend, the organic from Sam's Club. I weighed it up, it was like 70 grams of berries, but there was a lot of ice in it, so you can't really count all that, and I'm not tracking. We just eyeballing things, blended it up in my Ninja, that's gonna be freaking delicious, and then we got a pack again on repeat of the Bumblebee Wild Caught Tuna Cracked Pepper and Sea Salt from Walmart for a buck, and for 14 grams of protein and one gram of fat. So this is le legit, like like zero fat and just high protein until Taco Tuesday night. Yes, indeed. The girl looks like a granny and I'm here for it. Yes, let's go Keto Coach. So I just got Keto Coach's new blue blocker glasses, 
you are now in control. And look, it comes with this cute little case that looks just like Goody Beats glasses. I mean, shut up, Keto Coach. And just in time, because I'm in the office right now editing that huge, massive stock up grocery haul. And I'm like, I'm here for it, let's go. And I know like being on the computer and looking at my phone and stuff has been affecting my eyes as the girl gets older. So we're gonna test these out. We're gonna test these bad boys out and see how they work. But my code in Burgess, guys, always gets you a discount with anything Keto Coach, the strips, the meter, all that good stuff. And it works on these glasses, they told me. So if you want these glasses or you've been wanting them, don't get them without using a discount code down below. Finish my water before 5 p.m. Let's get it. Taco Tuesday, easy peasy Mediterranean night. So I've got Mahi Mahi from Imperfect Foods. Just came in time. Thank you, Jesus. We've got a bunch of Baby Bella mushrooms. We've got colored peppers, a little bit of frozen green slices I still had in the freezer. Some onion that I sliced last week, that's still good. We're gonna saute it all up. It's gonna be delicious. Got some goat cheese I'm gonna put on my tacos, avocado, salsa, fresh chopped cilantro. I'm gonna put mine on some organic green leaf lettuce instead of doing the siete tortillas. I can do them on Mediterranean. Are they necessarily keto? They're higher in carb. On the standard Mediterranean diet, they do incorporate lots of grains, but we're doing Mediterranean keto. I'm going to save the Siete ones for my carb up days. The hubby's going to eat those. They're the cleanest tortillas, though, on the market. The 365 brand by Whole Foods is a little bit less carbs and the same ingredients and cheaper usually, but they've been on sale. So I'm going to put all this stuff on the Blackstone on the side in the microwave. Don't get triggered. We're doing the 365 Whole Foods pilaf style rice cauliflower. This stuff is bomb. If you have not tried it, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Garlic, herb, and extra virgin olive oil. That's all you need. Maybe a little pepper salt if you want to. And that's what we're doing on the side. That's it. Easy, fresh, delicious. Are y'all seeing this epicness of a Taco Tuesday? Like, I can't even handle all this. This is beast mode style. We wouldn't do it any other way up in here, right? We've got the Mahi Mahi avocado. That's half an avocado split between the two. The peppers, the onions, the mushrooms. We've got some goat cheese that I just crumbled on top with some fresh cilantro. Then we've got the cauliflower rice with the other half of the other avocado, some salsa from Sam's Club, and fresh avoc or fresh cilantro i can't even talk because i'm in awe of this plate did y'all doubt me did y'all doubt i was gonna finish that yeah i left a little bit of collar rice but we killed it and what's crazy i said this last week was 75 hard week one i feel ravenous most of the day i don't feel like when i eat these beast mode meals that i am like overly stuffed and like uncomfortable i feel like just satiated if not even that, like just a little full, but I don't know what's going on. This is crazy with all this movement and everything. You have not put goat cheese in your tacos. You're not living your best life. I'm telling you the creaminess of that. You don't need sour cream. I was going to put sour cream and I'm like, girl, you don't need it because this goat cheese is going to be the ish. And it was, oh my gosh, Mediterranean for the win. Decaf coffee tonight. We're doing a cinnamon French toast, crazy cup decaf with the perfect keto cinnamon toast crunch or whatever keto collagen i'm almost out i have one on backup this stuff is fire this is probably the best flavor they have in my opinion i love the chocolate vanilla but this one hands down has got to be number one this is a new one peanut butter one's new and it is good as well i'm just trying to stray away from peanuts while doing mediterranean keto but it's bomb I have something new. I'm scared. This is the unsweetened lava plant-based creamer, dairy-free, vegan, and no sugar added. Says it frosts like a dream. I featured this in my grocery haul. There's the macros. The ingredients are stellar. They're out of my beloved nut pods at Whole Foods, like nowhere to be found. There's like a shortage, like the asparagus, damn it. But I've got it in my Morocco. We're gonna give it a shot, and it's gonna be good though with just this because I've had the coffee with just this, but I'm gonna be a little bit extra and see what this is all about. Verdict on the coffee creamer that I showed you guys. All right, so it is Peely Nuts. And it's definitely got a nutty taste, all right? So if you're not a fan of that, you're not gonna like it. Is it my favorite? Is it something I'm like, y'all, you need to go out and get this, like I am with a lot of things. It will do until I can get my nut pods. It's not terrible like some other creamers I've tried, so I can't say it's the worst that I've tried. We did both our workouts, we read our pages, we did our picture first thing, I finished my gallon early, we followed Mediterranean Keto, and we had no cheats. Day nine, 75 hard complete. 
Let's get it to day 10 and hump day. Getting ready to make Trey's lunch for tomorrow. It's about 8.55 and totally forgot that I did not take my electrolytes today. So this is not a requirement of 75 hard. Thank the Lord. I would have to start back on day one if I went to bed without it. This is a requirement of my keto cut and what I wanted to accomplish for the keto cut every day, get those electrolytes in. So what I did is I don't want a lot of liquid. So I just put a little bit of liquid with some ice, use my little frother to froth it up. And I'm just going to chug it and get it in because I want to have those electrolytes lights in my system before we hit the gym tomorrow. This watermelon lime, guys, fire. Good morning. Happy hump day. Happy day 10 of 75 hard. We finally got the day right, I think. Update on the foot. The foot is feeling amazing. There is absolutely no pain whatsoever in my foot. I cannot believe it, y'all, because the foot has had the situation going on. It has been uncomfortable. It has been hurting here and there, even around Christmas time. And I swear, the walking last week, I told my husband the walking last week helped it, and it felt the best it has ever felt last week. So that's why I started to do a little bit of running this week to be conditioning it, try to get back into the running game. And I'm happy to tell you guys that I woke up this morning because the next day is always the tell for me if it was affected. And it wasn't, man, it is like fire. However, I can't say the same for my glutes and my legs and my back from back day is like all sore again, feeling like a Mack truck hit me, but it's all good. It's all good because that is telling me that I am getting gains. That's telling me I'm doing the right thing. We're getting stronger, strong, not skinny. Hell yes, I'm here for it. And today, instead of running, so I don't wanna push it, I'm gonna ride the bike. I've got my baby got back seat is on the bike. We've got it adjusted. I think we should be good. I say that, but I know it's gonna kill me. I'm telling you, riding a bike out versus the gym, is world's difference guys like don't don't be fooled by this bike in the gym this this it's ain't nothing. Today is biceps and triceps day on Wednesday. I have my whole workout schedule. I think I posted it before. Got my pre-workout flowing. Don't forget, buy one, get one 50% off. Stock up on this and the protein powder. Y'all see me use it every day, if not multiple times per day. It is essential in my journey, whether, I, whether I'm cutting 75 hard or not. I need that stuff. That stuff is the cleanest of the clean and the most effective. Definitely check it out. Feeling great today. Yesterday, the B ITCH voice was strong as Andy Frisella refers to super strong yesterday I did not want to get up I felt low energy until I ate and then after I ate and then we did our run then I felt fire the rest of the day so I'm going to make sure that after I leave here we're going to do something fun and then I'm going to make sure that I eat and fuel my body because I don't think I was doing that I was letting some things get in my head again the BITCH voice was strong but we got her pushed to the side the boss voice is winning today I feel amazing today in a great headspace, not feeling run down, not feeling tired. So I'm ready to go in here and kill biceps and triceps. Biceps and triceps for the win. Let's pop up the workout. I added, what, 60 barbell curls because of time. I'm setting my timer and if I have time left, we keep on pushing it. We don't just take the rest for the last four minutes. We keep on trucking y'all. And you know, it was a good arm day when I barely had enough strength to put the camera up on this tripod. I was like, oh, help me Lord. I'm telling you guys, like I said last week, what I learned last week, one of the many things I learned last week, that I wasn't pushing myself. I was thinking I was beast mode in the gym. Oh, we getting gains. We doing so good. Blah, blah. We were doing nothing. I'm not gonna say we weren't doing nothing, but compared to what I'm doing now, holy hell. Like it is incredible how much I'm getting in in 45 minutes when timing myself. I'm like, wow, before I was probably only doing like 30 minutes of strength training and I wasn't pushing myself as far as the weight or like today I increased weight on some of those exercises, but on some of them, we just kept it at like 10 pounds and just really concentrated on the movements, really feel it. Sometimes if you go beast mode with the weight and you're like, oh, you know, I see guys doing this all the time and they're like just slinging their arms around and they're not really controlling the movement and feeling the burn, you're not getting any effectiveness in that session with that muscle group at all. So you need to slow it down sometimes for sure. Always slow it down as far as your movement, but sometimes you need to keep the weight just at a minimal and just focus on the movement itself and 
feel the actual muscle that you are working. Man, fire, feeling great. I'm almost finished with the first of my half gallon. I think I have a little bit less than half of this left, so I'm doing good on that. However, guys, let's be straight. How many of y'all are going in the Planet Fitness and timing yourself and doing 45 minutes to an hour and you are peeing like I legit peed 10 times in 50 minutes? I'm not exaggerating. It's, it's a problem. The peeing struggle is real. And like I said, I'm trying to get this in super early because I don't want to have to drink this way late at night. But drinking it super early and not like spreading it out like I was prior to 75 hard has been killing a girl as far as the peeing game. I'm with you out there, ladies and guys. I'm with you. So we are going to do some retail therapy. Who is she? Y'all are a bad influence. So y'all tell me all the time, Nicole made me do it. Nicole made me do it. Look, I only tell you about the things that are absolutely fire and legit. There are so many things that get thrown my way, guys, that you never see because they're absolute poo. All right? So I only bring you guys the best, in my opinion anyway, that I absolutely love. And y'all are like killing me over on Instagram. Y'all are sending me all these pictures of things up at the Hobby Lobby. We're going to the Hobby Lobby. I haven't been there since before Christmas. This could be a problem. We're going to go in there. I don't really need anything. You know the struggle's real. We're going to go in there. They got a whole new Dolly Parton line. Damn it. Um, what just happened? What just happened, Hobby Lobby? We're going to blame Hobby Lobby on being possessed. Something took over the girl when we went into Hobby Lobby. I'll show you later. It's going to motivate me, though, to take my Christmas decorations down outside Yes, it's like the 15th and I still haven't taken my damn decorations down. Don't come for me. I did the inside. That's what all that matters. Not really because everybody can see the outside. Lunch, importantly, what is going on? We've got an omelet, three egg omelet. It didn't fold over right. That's okay. It's going to be beast mode. We've got peppers, mushrooms, and onions left over from last night. We're not wasting those. So I added those on top. My favorite sardines, which are the Brunswick fillets. So good. I'm craving all kinds of protein. So I went for that today. Also have half an avocado with Redmond's Real Salt and everything seasoning. We've got the base culture, cinnamon, almond butter. This stuff is freaking life, guys. Still on sale. I'm going to stock up right before the sale goes off. And then we've got um, some raspberries on top and the base culture bread, too. That's the the nut and seed bread. I really like the red package. It's the keto one. They're both four net carbs, but they're on sale too. And I'm going to stock up on that too. I know the girl has a problem. And protein coffee on repeat. You know, that was fire. Oh man. I am like, I keep saying, I'm not like overly stuffed. I'm just either satiated, comfortable, or just full enough. I'm not like overly stuffed, which is crazy to me when doing 75 hard and that I need to be upping the food game. Like what? And I know so many people commented last week were like, girl, you, I don't know how you eat that much and blah, blah, blah. Y'all, this two 45 minute workouts are no flipping joke. And if you're doing them intensely, like I am Monday through Friday, you need to eat to be able to not feel like absolute crud. We got the Christmas decorations down. 40 minutes. Why couldn't that have been my outside workout today going up and down the damn ladder stairs? I feel like I'm dead. I got this piece was the spring collection. Y'all know I don't get anything up at the Hobby Lobby unless it is on discount or I got a coupon for it. So I got that and also got this piece, which I absolutely freaking love. It was also 40% off in the spring collection. And this was it, guys. I got this bench. It was $87. $87 because all furniture was on sale. And I've been wanting one just like this. They had one last year. I passed it up. I was like, I'm not leaving this damn store without it. So yeah, I was possessed by the things and we did the damn thing and we got it. So that was the majority of my spending right here. But I just love it. And I still have my rocking chair and my pig from Hobby Lobby over there too. We ain't getting rid of that. Love my rocking chair so much. But wanted a sitting piece in the front and just love the thing that I got today, y'all. Let's go. We're being productive. Oh, and even though Mardi Gras is pretty much canceled around here because of COVID, I mean, the struggle is real still. I still got to represent Mardi Gras. Let's go, Louisiana. Also got this little sugar container because my other one broke. I dropped it. What is my life from the Target dollar spot? Look how this one is so cute looking like Ray Dunn knockoff. I think it was like $5 with the 40% off. I'll take it. Also got this Hello Coffee sign. Not on sale, but I use my coupon. And I got this this cozy pillow, 50% off. I will take it. I need to get some other ones, guys, for the couch, uh, like here and maybe one here, a little small ones. But I'm only getting what I absolutely love and not just getting it because it was on sale. But I had to have that one. I mean, yes, indeed. Bet y'all didn't think y'all were going to get a Hobby Lobby haul in a 75 hard vlog. Yes, indeed. And for the record, we're probably going to go up into the Michaels tomorrow because the girls got the itch. 
when I get the itch, I gotta go and see like all the lands. I gotta go see all the lands and what's available, even though I really don't need or want anything. I told you I need a couple more things. I need a couple more things. Do I? And if I didn't mention, my water has been done for about 30 minutes. Let's fill her up. What you doing, girl? Just got done editing a carb cycling video. Are you watching those carb cycling videos, guys? This one is a good one if you didn't watch it yet. Definitely check it out. But I'm just finishing up with my blue blockers from Keto Coach. Definitely check it out, guys. And Burgess gets you a discount. Got my cute goodie beats case I'm putting it in. And we have exactly like 15 minutes to get these pages in and get our reading done before two o'clock is when I like to get out of here for our second workout. And I think we're taking the bike, like I mentioned earlier. We're gonna do Baby Got Back Seat and see how it does. Baby Got Back Seat for the win. So we did, I don't know if you can see that, but we did 8.10 miles, 49 minutes, 30 seconds. Let's go. I didn't feel like I was going to fall off and die today. All right, the butt's not hurting anymore, but I still think I need to adjust it just a little bit higher because my lower back was hurting a little bit and we don't want any injuries at all. But man, fire, fire bike ride. That bike is nothing like the one in the gym. I know I said that earlier, but don't think that you're like killing in the gym on the stationary bikes. Do a freaking mountain the bike. I have hills everywhere. Like I knew that with running, running up the hills, but with a bike, it's like 10 times worse in my opinion. Oh my gosh, like I'm sweating. We got the burn in. Second workout done. Day 10, baby. Let's go, let's go. Hey, night's dinner. We're doing dinner on repeat. I've made this in the past, not on Mediterranean, but it's totally Mediterranean approved. This is the Cajun Chicken Zucchini Boats out of the Wholesome Yum Easy Cookbook. I've talked about this a lot recently. Look at all my tabs. I really love Maya's stuff. Her blog is excellent. Her Pinterest is excellent. So I highly recommend her recipes are really minimal and clean and delicious. So I've made these before and there they are right there oh my gosh so easy but so flavorful and my hack instead of using regular mayo like she says in her recipe I use that primal uh, chipotle lime mayonnaise by primal kitchen or whatever it is I can't remember the names of all the stuff what I'm talking about that's what I put in there and then I add the other spices and it's like flavor on point we got a side salad with the Greek dressing always linked in the description box down below some goat cheese egg cucumber half an avocado and some broccoli from uh, Walmart that I just steamed up in the microwave and added a little bit of ghee organic grass-fed ghee and of course some of the red mints organic garlic pepper and that is it hey and zucchini boats for the win so good i am full off that one i've been telling you guys oh i'm satiated i'm just fine i'm full off of that one that was good that was really good forgot to tell you guys i sipped on my relight the watermelon lime electrolytes while i was making dinner so i wouldn't forget this is hands down my new favorite i've had it a few times if y'all have seen and it is flipping fantastic and the pina colada is good they're all good but i'm just saying this one is the best So my water has been done. We followed our diet. We had no cheats. So that is a wrap for day 10. Let's get it 75 hard. Day 10 on to day 11. Happy Thursday, day 11, 75 hard. 75 hard check-in confession time. Let's start with the bad. We're gonna talk about the good, the bad, the ugly. So the bad is, is that the B-I-T-C-H voice is like so strong or was so strong this morning. And if you're wondering if you're new and you don't know why I keep referring it to that is because Andy Frisella is the creator of 75 Hard and in his book, he talks about the B-I-T-C-H voice. So if you hear me refer to that, it's because it goes with the whole program of 75 Hard. I went to bed early last night, which was the good, the positive. I went to bed at like, guys, 10 o'clock. That is unheard for me. Got eight hours of sleep. Sleep was freaking phenomenal. But we woke up and I just wanted to keep on sleeping. My bed felt good. It's in the 30s this morning. I did not want to get out in the cold. Uh, the struggles were real mentally. Looking in the mirror this morning, I'm not liking a certain part of my body that I really want to work on for 75 hard. And I'm like, man, we're in day 11 and I still don't feel like this has changed. And then I took my progress picture 
and then went to look back at it later. I just took it, getting all the things done with the boys, trying to drop everybody off, like just uploading it into the app, not even really looking at it. Looking at the picture, I'm like, man, why am I even thinking that? The B-I-T-C-H voice, why are you getting in my head? Because I'm looking at the picture, I'm like, whoa, we are definitely making some progress. Why am I thinking that? That's why pictures and measurements are so important, guys. That's why the scale, the keto coach monitor, anything like that should not get in your head because you are making progress when you don't even feel it. And when you have those pictures and those measurements, they can tell the story. So I immediately was like, girl, you got to go, B-I-T-C-H voice. And the boss voice took over as far as body image and how I feel and that this is all going to be worth it in the end. So I definitely cleared my mind up with that. Another positive and another good is y'all let me know down below in the comments. I have been having dreams like crazy since starting 75 hard. I am not a dreamer at all. It is rare that I have dreams at all and almost every single night I'm having some type of dream. I guess it's because I'm really in deep zen sleep and maybe that's when the dream phase comes in. But I had a dream a couple of nights ago that I went to a Mexican restaurant, drank a margarita and broke the rules of drinking alcohol and had to start back on day one of 75 hard. So unrealistic. I'm not a drinker first off and secondly I wouldn't be drinking a margarita because of all the damn sugar. So it scared me to death though. It felt so real and I was like, oh my God, the feeling of having to start back on day one, it was a bad nightmare, let's just say that. And then I had a great dream where Trey was like a teenager and I was watch in my dream, I was watching him dress himself, like put on deodorant, fix his hair, brush his teeth. I know that sounds so minuscule, but if you have a child with special needs or if your child is ASD, that's like the biggest thing, like self care and like self help and stuff. And them doing those little milestones just means everything. I know I probably cried throughout the night in my dream that was last night man it was like the best dream ever to see him being like so independent oh I'm getting teary-eyed right now but y'all let me know if you are dreaming if you're having like these crazy dreams and sleeping really well but also going back to the bed I still feel like Mack truck hit me my glutes and my quads are on fire especially after doing that bike session yesterday Oh man, so I just wanted to come on here and confession update. I like keeping it real with y'all. A lot of y'all last week were like, thank you so much for telling us your struggles and not making the whole video like, you know, jacked from my pre-workout and like everything sunshine and roses because it's not guys, even for me, even for me, I am not perfect. I never have stated that I am. I've never stated that everything goes smoothly for me. There's bumps in the road throughout my journey and I've showcased that with y'all and that's why we can relate because we're doing this together and not everything is sunshine and roses. And we're just here for each other to motivate, lift, and inspire on our journeys. So today is core day. I need, that's, the, if y'all are wondering what part of the body I'm not liking, it's my core. It's my core. I think I need to work on that more than anything. And today's core day. We're going to go in there. We're going to kill it, right? Let's get it, day 11. circuit as last week I'll pop it up right here with the addition of 50 more sit-ups than I did last week and that ball roll in roll out thing that I featured in last week's vlog I took footage of it that burned your lower belly so bad like I feel like my lower belly was like dead like I feel like somebody was stabbing me in the lower gut the entire time every single rep but we pushed through we did it the bitch voice was so strong guys like so strong in the gym it was strong as i told you earlier but halfway through the workout the boss voice took over and was like girl you gotta be quiet like you got to be quiet shut up and let the girl get through and man boss voice thank you because i got through we felt fire afterwards i am still sore from last week's ab workout the same one so that's why i did it again because as y'all know core is something that i've struggled with i mentioned earlier that's where i really want to focus that area getting toned up it's right around my belly button if you watch a week one video last week you'll notice that i have a lot of visceral fat right there from having two kids and it's like ugh, i can't seem to get that particular area like in shape i know a lot of y'all are like nicole how do you get your arms for loose skin blah 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 you just have to keep working at it guys and i haven't been working on my core enough i've been focusing on legs arms back all that stuff but i need to focus on core and i'm grateful that i'm implementing that once a week i may even i even thought this morning that was a boss voice talking was like girl you need to do the bring sally up ab challenge next week 
in addition to everything else that you're doing. And then while I was doing apps today, I was like, that may not be a good idea. That was the B-I-T-C-H voice talking. So we'll see which one wins next week. I haven't decided, but man, I, I, <sighs> I'm struggling too, guys. I'm struggling too. This is hard. This is not going to be as easy mentally, physically. This is going to be challenging. That's why it is a challenge. That's the whole point of stepping up, showing up, doing the damn thing, and following through. Is to push ourselves, challenge ourselves, get out of that comfortable stage. Do something that you never did before as far as working out. Go into the intimidation zone. Just push yourself, guys, and don't let the B-I-T-C-H voice win. I know it's hard. Mine has been strong today, but you just got to keep thinking positively. Think positive vibes, positive thoughts, and let the boss voice take over, and essentially, you will come out victorious and being a freaking winner. Let's go. Here we go. Thursday's lunch brunch. We've got the Hope Hummus Spicy Avocado. This one is so good. I featured it in my grocery haul, that monthly stock up. They also have a plain one, but this one's got a little extra something, something spice, and I love it. Super clean, dairy-free keto, guys, with some cucumbers, with some Redmond salt. We've got the 5-8-5% drizzled with some nuts, so nut butter and some berries. And then we've got the portobello mushroom. It was perfect. Four minutes on each side. Broiled turkey burger, a slice of this goat cheese from Whole Foods. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm loving some goat cheese and love that I can have it in a freaking slice form. Half of an avocado, that spinach that was like pitiful. And then we did an egg and our little poacher gadget microwave thing for the win. Almost let me forget my coffee again. What is y'all's life? Like I cannot have a day without this protein coffee, y'all. About a quarter to one later than I'd like, but our first half gallon is done -zo. Just got two of my meal plans done for my keto coach clients right on time because it is about 1.40 almost. So we're gonna get in these 10 pages before we gotta head out the door and do that second workout. Y'all, I am legit like a sweaty beast. Look at me, sweaty beast. I have not sweat that hard. This entire time doing 75 hard, I will say, maybe the first bike ride when we almost killed ourselves. Other than that, man, oh man, we ran two miles. I pushed myself like I told you guys to do this morning. It is rough getting back into the running game, I'm not gonna lie, and this is coming from someone before I injured my foot, running over six miles once a week and running three miles multiple times per week. It is a struggle getting back in it after being out of it for like two months, but we're gonna slowly get back in. I'm gonna ease my way back into doing it, but man, you are more capable than what you give your body credit for. I could have went longer, it's just that voice, that voice keeps telling me that, oh, this is enough, blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to keep it down a little bit because of the injury, but guys, literally like no pain at all in my foot. It is crazy how great my foot is feeling since starting 75 hard. I am gonna go in with something for a after protein workout snack. Post second workout protein snack, we've got a protein shake with the equipped strawberry prime protein powder with about three strawberries from Sam's Club. I mean, look how pretty these bad boys look. Oh my gosh, I love strawberries, my favorite, with 10 and a half ounces of almond milk, and that is it. That's all we have in the smoothie. So definitely keto approved, depending on how many strawberries or berries you add to it. And then I've got two boiled eggs, and I'm gonna use the coarse Redmond's Real Salt. I love this one for like boiled eggs and stuff, and adding to like omelets. I oh, love Redmond's Real Salt so much. Y'all know I always have a discount down below. Tonight is pizza night. I'm trying out this cauliflower foods frozen pizza crust for the first time they are spot on with the ingredients y'all two net carbs for a third of a crust now the girl's gonna eat a whole crust because you know how things are around here however here are the macros and look at these ingredients how freaking clean is that i am here for a cauliflower they have an italian one and an uh i think a jalapeno one as well a lot of y'all were telling me you found these at walmart they sent these to me to try so i will give you my review and let you know what i think of them i'm making my alfredo sauce which is out of my e-cookbook with over 70 recipes i've already got it done i half the recipe because i know we're not going to need a whole one for me and the hubby letting that simmer and thicken it up and we're going to do shrimp and crab on here um this is going to be epic i know it doesn't look that 
pretty, but the crust, I don't know if I'm a fan on the Blackstone anyway. We'll have to try them in the oven next time. But in the Blackstone, they were like flimsy, almost like cheese. And then I had to get them like almost burnt, as you can see, for them to get crispy and then get everything melted on top. So we'll try them in the oven next time. Y'all let me know if you like them, but I definitely burnt it on the Blackstone, but it's all right. Extra crispy. But look at all the cheese. Look at the peppers, the mushrooms, the sauce down there. Oh my gosh, this is going to taste good, even though it doesn't look that great. I promise. You know we crushed it. And let me tell you, I take back what I said about that crust. I tasted a couple of pieces of that crust without anything, like towards the edges. And the flavor on that crust is fire. That's the red pepper one. Man, I'm impressed. Like, it was super crunchy, like, because the girl legit burnt it. But it didn't taste burnt. You could still taste all the flavors. So, it was okay on the Blackstone. Probably would be spot on in the oven. So, I finished my electrolytes. Water's been done. We followed our diet. We had no cheats. This thing is so sensitive if you're using the app. So, I finished my electrolytes, as you can see. Definitely feel good after drinking them. I need to incorporate them earlier in the day. I need to be better about that. I even have it on my list that I make every day and I'm still forgetting. Come on, it's day 11, let's go. Good morning, happy Friday, happy day 1275 hard. As you can see, I am so jacked. I was jacked before I took my pre-workout. Don't forget 50% off down below still. You definitely need to take advantage of that. I was jacked before that, guys. I got eight hours of sleep last night. Who is she? Slept like a freaking rock. No dreams, though, last night. But, man, I felt fire this morning. The boss voice definitely was, like, in full effect this morning. You got this, girl. Yesterday, put it in the past. Keep on trucking today. Today is a brand new day. Today, you're going to freaking kill it. And I am feeling the vibes hardcore. Today is our, no, today is, what is even today? I don't even know what today is. Today is shoulders and chest day. We're gonna combine those today because I haven't done chest in a while, so I wanna incorporate that today. And I'm excited about the circuit. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna freaking kill it. I've been blaring my Megan the Stallion all the way to the gym. You know, the girl's ratchet like that. Yes, indeed. Guys, do you out there, whatever makes you happy, whatever gives you joy, it doesn't matter what other people think. I could give a rats you know what what people think of me being 37 years old listening to Megan the Stallion being a mom being a wife who cares age is just a number like I don't feel 37 inside I feel like you know 20 inside and I'm gonna listen to whatever I want to listen to that's gonna make me feel like jacked pump and set my moods for the day whatever sets your moods for the day do it guys do it and do you a hundred percent all day every day we need to stop worrying about what other people think, right? Like we need to just live our life. I lived too long of my life worrying about what other people thought. And just the past, like I would say a year and a half because it would took about six months before I got into keto, before I started to feel a little bit more confident in myself. But I will say that keto and this way of living has definitely given me the confidence booster that I needed and definitely made me see that I need to live life for me and nobody else and I need to not worry about what anybody else is doing and only what this girl is doing. So we are going in there, we're gonna go and kill this gym session. chest let's pop up the workout freaking killer and like I keep saying I'm always thinking beforehand that I was like going ham and beast mode 75 hard has opened my eyes to the girl you were not pushing yourself and you definitely are capable of more than you thought and I timing myself in there man it's like okay let's add this let's add this because we got this much time left even though we went five rounds with doing that workout freaking amazing so we added the upright barbell rows at the end just to kill the shoulders even more just turning the steering wheel right now my shoulders are on fire but that means that we are showing up and we are doing something for this body hells to the yes 
I am feeling absolutely fire. I'm almost done with my first half gallon of my water. We're going to do some more retail therapy. It's just been a retail therapy week. I mean, why not? Let me get it out my system. I do this where I go like for a week to different stores and then I don't go for like six months. Like it's okay. We don't do this every all often. And I have a gift card, so why not? I, I'm, you know, justifying the logic there. But I just want to say guys that if you are doing whatever you're doing on your health journey, whether it be 75 hard, keto cutting it, starting keto for the first time, just show up every day. If you show up, you put the work in, you're going to get the work put out in return and it's going to make you feel so much better. I know some of you guys have crazy hella schedules. Trust me, I got a lot on my plate too, but just do it because it's going to make you feel so much better when you get done with it. I know there's quotes floating around that say like nobody ever said, I wish I wouldn't have done that workout after they did the workout. And that is so true. Once you go in there and just do it and get over yourself get over the B-I-T-C-H voice. Boss voice takes over and you feel so freaking fire. So hope you're having a great day. Hope you're killing it. Hope you're showing up. Know that we're all in this to win it. We are all in this together. I am right there with you feeling all the feels. You can do this. So brunch on repeat from the other day. I did a Starbucks mocha, peppermint mocha, K-cup instead because we're out of the cinnamon ones. I know sad times, but I added a scoop of the Equip chocolate today. I have tried this combo before. I like the other combo better, but it's still freaking good, okay? So it's still awesome. And y'all ask me all the time where I've been getting my cups off of Etsy, and this is a new one. You guac my world, um, yes please. It's like a Valentine's Day cup, but I'm gonna use it all year round. It's got my name on the back. I will try to link it down below. I got a lot of new awesome ones coming because I use these every day, so I don't mind buying those off the Etsy. Here we go, guys. Brunch, it's 11.50. Look at all those berries. Don't be scared of the berries, guys. And one of my granola bars, let's go. Page is done, not bad timing. just got done with our outside second workout. We did the bike. We did 8.73 miles in 50 minutes. We're getting better at the bike. Is it getting any easier? No, it's freaking hard as all hell. That thing is the devil. Okay, forget the Stairmaster. We always call the Stairmaster the devil. That outdoor bike, she the devil. And let me tell you, the baby got back seat is on point. That is no problem. It's just up these damn hills. Like it doesn't even matter what gear I put it in. I gotta like put that work in to get up and down these hills, man. It's freaking killing the girl, but in a good way. And I just made it official on Instagram and declared that I'm gonna do five days of the Bring Sally Up Ab Challenge. Starting today, if you're watching on Monday, join me. It's a killer, it's three minutes. All you do is you play the Bring Sally Up song on and you do crunches when she says, bring Sally up, bring Sally down, go backwards. So I'm gonna do that on addition on all my strength training workouts. I'm gonna be dead next week. Make sure to watch that vlog. 3.30 post-workout snack. We are proteining it up with two of the new Primal Lightly Peppered Turkey Sticks. These are my last two. They do have these on Thrive Market for a pretty good deal. So if I can't find them at Whole Foods, they're on sale right now until the 18th, I think. I'm going to get them from Thrive. And I always have a discount for you guys for Thrive below. Two boiled eggs, of course, doused with Redmond's Real Salt. And of course, this watermelon lime is my new jam. And I'm not filling it up to the very top, guys. Just fill it up with ice, shake it really well, and then fill the rest with your ice and water is how you get it to where it's not like a ton of powder at the bottom. Friday night's dinner, I'm doing leftover broccoli from the week, leftover collie mash. We've got the camera fogging up, but we've got a serving or a little bit over a serving of the Greek dressing that I put on my salads. I'm gonna use that to dip versus doing butter. We've got one of those chicken sausages, shrimp, and then a steak and a half. Yes, this is the meat night, it's going down. We do not play around here. Lots of questions with, girl, I don't know how you can eat that much. Like, my macros are so low, this and that. Y'all have to understand, I've been doing this over two years. I am in maintenance slash muscle building mode with doing all this activity. I have to eat, all right? So I ate all that, as you can see, and I am full and satisfied. I am not overly, like, stuffed. I know that sounds crazy, but trust me, when you get to this point, you'll know all about it. I know a lot of people are in maintenance mode with me and they're like, yes, girl, preach, you gotta eat that protein.
It's about 10 minutes to eight, so I just finished my last of my half gallon of water. We followed our diet today and no cheats, this thing right here. So that's it fam, day 12 in the books. Week two, 75 hard, almost done. Today's Saturday when I'm filming. I've already done yoga Saturday and Sunday are my active rest days. A lot of y'all asked what I do for the weekends and it's rest days, meaning that I still have to do two workouts but I'm doing stretch yoga and that's really helping me with these intense strength training workouts throughout the week and then I'm about to head out the door right after I finish this and do my 45 minute slow walk. We walk fast and we run throughout the week but on the weekends I just take it easy and just embrace this beautiful day that we've got going on and just really try to rest my body as much while still being active in those two workouts. The beginning of this week started out killer. We were in a great headspace. We were great physically, and then the BITCH voice just kicked in, and we were low energy throughout, I would say, yesterday, and then we got it back together. So there's gonna be highs, there's gonna be lows throughout the 75 hard journey. It's not gonna be a killer day every single day, but you have to have that mindset. You have to show up, and you have to make the best of it and you have to follow through most importantly and I hope that these videos are helpful in showing you what I'm eating in a day for Mediterranean keto showing you that I am a, a human being just like you I'm not some bionic woman out there uh, killing it and I have definitely uh, been humbled by this uh, this whole experience of 75 hard it's showing me that I definitely can do more than I was doing I thought I was doing a lot we ain't girl you ain't the ish you've got to keep pushing yourself and you've got to keep pushing yourself in that gym and strength training and we're starting to see a little bit of a physical transformation from the pictures not beating myself up when I look at them and that's not always going to be the case though every time we look at the pictures and every day for this 75 days right like I said highs and lows are going to be there so I hope whatever journey that you were on that this week was good for you and if it wasn't I know a lot of you had to start over from day one if you're doing 75 hard and your mindset is just amazing though don't kick yourself just keep moving forward that's all you can do know you're bettering your health each and every day if you just pick it up at the next snack and just make it whatever health journey you're doing pick it up again on day one for 75 hard and just keep trucking I'm your biggest cheerleader over here guys I am doing all the things and feeling all the feels with you over here trust me you're not alone out there you've got a whole world of people that are doing this with you and that are feeling all the feels just like you so thank y'all so much for watching if you enjoy these hellacious long 75 hard vlogs please give it a thumbs up that helps me out so much and if you are new and you want to see more mediterranean 75 hard all health related things here make sure to smash the subscribe button down below and make sure all your notifications are clicked so you're the first to know when i upload a new video i love you guys so much y'all take it as easy as possible out there and kill it at the same time and we'll see you next week for week three 75 hard we're coming for you i gotta go get this walk in bye y'all